most common treatments for acoustic neuroma include active surveillance, open microsurgery, and gamma knife radiosurgery. Active surveillance refers to an observation strategy where small tumors can be followed and if they're not growing, then no intervention is required. This does require that we keep an eye on the tumor over time. Open microsurgery refers to conventional surgery with the goal of removing the tumor. And gamma knife radiosurgery is a very specialized uh, focused radiation treatment which is used to halt the growth of the tumor. Gamma knife stereotactic radio radiation is a method whereby extremely focused and precise radiation is delivered to the acoustic tumor which stops its growth and causes it to shrink over time. Gamma knife stereotactic radiosurgery for acoustic neuroma is suited to a wide range of patients. All ages are suitable for the treatment. In general, tumors that are small to medium are ideal, and we like to know that the tumor is growing uh, at the time of the treatment. In addition, patients who choose gamma knife radiosurgery have decided that they prefer not to have a conventional open surgical procedure. The benefits of gamma knife stereotactic radio surgery are that the risks and incidence of side effects of the treatment are far less than conventional surgery. The risks are similar but occur far less often, yet the outcomes are comparable in terms of controlling the tumor. Hearing loss is a common uh, manifestation of the acoustic neuroma. In fact, that's why they call it acoustic neuroma, because the hearing loss is so noticeable. Once you have a hearing loss due to acoustic neuroma, that hearing loss cannot be retrieved. So the goal is to preserve the hearing that is present. And Gamma Knife has a very good record for being able to preserve hearing for long periods of time following the treatment. When choosing a treating physician, patients should seek out one that has, is experienced in both open microsurgery and gamma knife radiosurgery. The reason for this is that a surgeon who does both can be fair-minded in presenting the options for both treatments. Your particular situation might create certain pros or cons, and you need someone who can give an even-handed approach to discussing what might be best for you. In addition, it's very important to go to a center that is experienced and is actively performing both treatments. If you're a patient trying to decide between Gamma Knife and another treatment for acoustic neuroma, my best advice for you is to get a second opinion. Go to someone who's experienced in both modalities so they can explain to you the pros and cons of each and find out what's best suited for your particular situation. <music>